Hello, how you doing? How's your day going? Are you doing good? You feeling healthy? You feeling happy? I hope so. Howdy ho, everybody. It's Michael Ray Bauer. That's right. Who is he? Oh, he's that actor from the 90s and the 2000s. That's very, very cute and very, very funny. And we love him. What's up, everybody? I just got finished talking to a few family members on video chat. And I was like, make a video. Make a video. Tell everybody you love them. Tell them hello in this crazy matrix of a world that we live in. And just, you know, shout out some love. I tried to do that the other day on social media. Send out some love to the world because what the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that there's just too little love. I like singing, even though I'm probably not a good singer. I did grow up and was in musicals and a part of some pro projects like that. And at one point in my life, you know, I did the Eminem thing, you know, became a rapper. <laughs> I think everybody experiments with certain things in their life. And not all of it sexual. Sexual. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to be funny here, guys. I, at least I'm in a good mood. Which doesn't happen all the time. So you gotta you gotta take the good with the bad, the bad with the good, and when you're feeling in the moment, you gotta express it. You gotta live in that moment. So if if I have any advice throughout this video, which I don't even know what I'm gonna talk about, but I like to talk. If I can give any advice, try to live in the moment. Try to realize that moment when you're having it. A lot of people go and do an adventure or do something or they have a good day or a good night or a good date. And then, you know, then they get home and then they think about it later and they're like, wow, that was good. Or what a moment. Or five years down the road, they didn't even think about it at that moment or that year or that day. But th three to five years down the road, they're like, wow, that was actually beautiful. That was a great day. That was a great moment. Or that was a great person. I, I kind of live my life where since I'm alone so much and I choose to like be a recluse, which I shouldn't, and I'm working on that. We'll talk about that in a minute. I'm the type of person that in that ac actual moment, when somebody says something that is beautiful, cute, funny, or it's a good laugh or whatever it is in that moment, I realize it. And then I say it out loud. I'm like, wow, that was a moment. <laughs> and this happened to me the other day. A great friend of mine picked me up, um, took me out to my favorite store, the 99 cent store. I should have got some video footage, you know, for you guys, because I know you guys like to share in my life with me. But, you know, sometimes it's like when you haven't seen somebody that so often and you don't want to work because, you know, filming and doing all that stuff is work. And then you're not really living in that moment because you're too busy trying to get content to make a dollar. And at that moment, even though I would have loved to share, you know, our little laughs and our get together again with you guys, it just doesn't feel right sometimes. And that's some of the things that I have to think on and I have to deal with, you know, like when I talk to you guys or whatever, because I need content and I need better content and I need good feeling content and I need everybody to see me in a happier light you know, per se, but I, I just, on those moments, man, I want to live in that moment. But back to what I was saying, so a friend of mine picked me up, and we went to the 99 cent store or whatever, we hung, hung out back at his apartment, and then his wife was there, and then I met his wife, you know, a few months back when I helped him out with some technology, a fire cube and stuff like that, because I have a fire cube and I know how to work it pretty much. So I helped him out, but she did something back then and then said something funny. We continued our conversation this time and then we were having a good conversation and she said something or did something in the moment. And I was like, I go, wow, what a moment. She goes, what do you mean? And then I explained what she did or whatever, how it's gonna like be rememberable forever for everybody, for her husband, for me, for, for her. But she wasn't thinking about it in that moment, I was. 
And I go, wow, what a moment. So I explained it to her. And then she goes, you're an observer. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I go, I live in the moment, in the moment. And I recognize it in that moment. And I tell everybody we just had a moment. So that way they can remember it and know that I know that we had a moment. It's a weird little thing. It's like, I know that we know that you know. So I'm going to tell you that I know that we had a moment. Or we had a conversation that's beautiful or funny that may never happen again. Or a quote or whatever. <laughs> And she was just like, that's intense. <laughs> Not in a bad way, but she's like, hmm. But it was cool. It was just funny to me. So I was thinking about it. Just pretty, pretty interesting that I, I live in the moments. And then when the moments happen, I literally speak them out. I'll be like, oh, we're going to remember this day forever. <laughs> I'm not talking about Pearl Harbor. <laughs> uh so going back to about me being a recluse, I think I just mentioned that a second ago. Uh Guys, I'm uh, applying for a bus pass, a cheaper bus pass, a low-income bus pass. Um, they have some paperwork that I got to fill out probably later today. But since I have no means of travel all the time, I'm like, I got to get out. I got to start walking around. I got to start doing something. You know, even if I don't have a lot of money, you know, if I walk to a park, if I take a bus to downtown, wherever, <laughs> Even if I don't go to the theaters or eat the pizzas or, or whatever, at least I can walk around because I like to people watch. Sounds really dumb. But since I'm alone so much, I value every moment that I talk to a person on video camera or, you know, even on the phone. But then to see them in person is even better. But even if I don't have somebody to hang out with, because you don't want to go out alone. A lot of people don't want to do that. They want to, you know, be comforted by another human being or a friend or whatever. But I, I decided to, you know, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to hopefully get a, a monthly cheaper bus pass and then just, you know, go out. You know, just go out, go to downtown wherever and people watch. If I don't have a lot of money to buy this or do that, that's okay. But I can I can shop. I can look around if there's comic book stores, video game stores, whatever, and just enjoy life again. Even though I'm doing it alone, that's what I'm thinking about doing. So, again, I'm going to accomplish something, hopefully, in the next couple of days and get a bus pass. You know, I don't know how much they are nowadays, but I am low income, so... But hey, it just made me excited to think about that. I'm going to try to get myself out there. And people are going to say, hey, you're going to take forever. It'll take you five months. <clears throat> Stop being a naysayer. Stop being a naysayer. You're probably right. <laughs> but hey, at least I'm doing something or I'm trying to do something. Again, these are accomplishments for me, not for you. <laughs> me even thinking, out, thinking about it is an accomplishment. Then me even... You know, filing the paperwork is an accomplishment. Then if I even buy officially the bus pass, that's an accomplishment. Then when I get on the actual bus to go somewhere, that's the accomplishment. You get it? So I live in the accomplishments. Um, and then just to get this off the top of my chest, because I, you guys know I have anxiety, fears, and worries, and too much shit. Too much shit. Because I'm not a busy body. I'm not a healthy body, but I'm not a busy body. And that would help me if I was a busy body, you know, to not always be in my head. But that's not my lifestyle. That's not who I am. It's not who I am or who I'm going to be. I'm always going to be a little bit of an overactive brain, anxiety filled human being with, you know, some many health issues on top of that. Um, and I enjoy just doing nothing more than anything. <laughs> which is not good. Uh, uh, but, man, I love the podcast. I'm trying to be consistent. But I, I started it to make like $50 a week on the podcast somehow. Maybe 5 or $10 from the video airing and maybe 30 to 40 in donations or Super Chats or a merchandise sale. And that's all I really wanted for that one day. And um, it's not happening. And literally, if I don't do the podcast, I can, you know, like sell merchandise on websites or, 
or autographs or, you know, try to find fans or whatever to to realize that I have, um, you know, T-shirts and autographs for Shell. You know, like my time feels like it would be better served to do, you know, websites like Nickelodeon, Instagram, Facebook fan groups or whatever and be like, hey, there's you know, Nickelodeon uh, Salute Your Shorts uh, T-shirts or Donkey Lips autographs or or this actor from Evolution, you know, like autograph. It seems like, and I'm, I'm not even supposed to be talking to you guys about this, but you know what? F it, dude. You guys are my people. You're my people. I don't love all of y'all, but a good portion of y'all, y'all are my people, and I love you, and I appreciate you. But, um, you should never talk about finances in real life. They don't want you to be transparent. You know, I have overlords above me telling me, just be funny. Just be fat and funny. Don't even talk about conspiracies. Don't do any of that. Don't talk about none of that stuff. You be fat and funny. Eat a candy bar. Be fat and funny. That's all they want. You're nobody. That'll become a meme. I know it will on all the channels of the people that critique me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just, I, I have days where I don't care. Then I have days where I cry about it. And then I, you know, eh, eh, I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place in the same room. <laughs> that sounded funny to me. I'm all over the place in the same room. You get it? Cause you would think if you're all over the place, you'd be all over the place. You know, one location to the next. I'm all over the place in the same room. Uh, but yeah, in terms of the podcast, like I said, I just, man, it's not living up to my expectations. And people are giving me good advice. It'll get there. It'll get there. Not when YouTube censors every video. Then on top of that, if I have any internet issues, any technology issues, it really hinders me. I had a really bad podcast the other day. I think it was on Friday. Like nothing worked. It was like a 10-hour day for me of sitting in the chair, you know, my body getting frustrated, my blood pressure boiling, and the video got flagged. And I got a donation, I think, of $10. So I make like $6 off of that video. And it was 10 hours of work. And it just puts me in a really downtrodden place and I'm an emotional person so it really meshes with me um and I could literally it sounds dumb I'm not saying I'd become rich but I can make more money than six dollars in ten hours of lying on my bed you know perusing Instagram and talking to people and trying to you know get podcast appearances from other people that have other podcasts because, you know, I require a guest fee. I could actually make way more money doing that. So I just have the doubts and they creep in and it pisses me off. Because, I, you know, I want everything to be special and I know it takes time. But I don't see a future where they're not going to flag my videos. And, you know, you guys support so dang much. I don't ever want to live off of requiring you guys to super chat. Or whatever, you know, hopefully I earned it, but I don't, you know, I can't live my life that way. So it's just interesting thoughts, guys. And I hate it when they creep in, you know, your mind tells you, oh, stop. You could do something better, do something different. So sometimes, guys, I don't know. Maybe I'll call that video. Maybe that's what I'll call this video. Sometimes I don't know. <laughs> you got to get those catchy sad clickbait titles to get over 600 views nowadays <laughs> if you do anything happy nobody watches but if you write i'm sad i'm lonely i'm this oh what's going on with Dr. Lips? what's going on today how's he doing today oh man he's weird he's well oh we got to be there for him send him some good words or send him troll him troll donkey lips it's fun you know he's always sad he's a sad human being I'm just different. You guys have regular, simple lives. You probably go to work every day. You got a beautiful family. You don't have emotional brain activity that's ridiculous off the scale. <laughs> you know? 
And then everybody wants to judge everybody else. Oh, you're bipolar. You're this. You're that. Get a job. Do this. Stop judging. And nobody going to be as good as you are. Nobody. None of us. No matter what advice or judgment you give us. You're probably correct. But we ain't going to do it. Or we might do it three months later. Once we let it sink in. But again... I'm just tired of judgment. I don't want to judge anybody. It's okay to listen, give advice, but you can give advice without judging. You know, oh, you're always like this, Michael. You always do this. Or, you know, that's why you're never going to succeed because you're always like this. That's judgment. Advice is like, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, it sucks, Mike. It does sometimes seem like a pattern, though, for you. And how can we fix it? Like, what, what do you think will fix it? Or how can we make you feel better on certain days? And, you know, that's advice. Hey, you know, maybe we can go out. You know, because if you become a little bit more busier, you won't always be in your head. And you know what? Yeah, let's plan a date. Let's plan a date to go out and hang out. Instead of just telling somebody, you need to and go out. You need to get off your butt and go out and do this. You're a damn lazy MFer. You see? But hey, that comes from knowledge and therapy and good people. The other people, they just want to judge and judge. They get mad and then they call me emotional. But guess what they're doing when they judge like that or they write things like that? They're being more emotional than I am. They're being emotional at me being emotional. It doesn't work. All right, it's already been a 17-minute video. I don't know why I made this video. I'm sure I'm going to have anxiety about it after. But I did it. And I'm trying to teach myself to not worry about what I say, what I do, who I offend, and if it's going to come back to haunt me by trolls or haters or people that don't like me or whatever or with judgment. I'm trying my best to do that. So that reminded me that yesterday I did a podcast for a, uh, a friend of mine, but, you know, he did pay me because it technically is my job. Well, he's a friend of mine, but he still was willing to give me a guest fee. I know that sounds really weird. Oh, you ain't going to do a friend of yours podcast, you know, for free. It wasn't like that. Um, I've known him for years, but we're not technically friends, but we know each other. But he was willing. He was very, very willing to do it. And the podcast was great. He's a great host. I, I'm, I'm sure we'll have clips in the coming weeks or whatever. But I revealed a lot. I got personal. And, and you know, I'm afraid of doing that. And, you know, I said things that you don't ever want to tell anybody about your life or your situations because it can be perceived in one way or another. You know, like when I talked about my brother on some of these other videos about, you know, the struggles and his addiction and, you know, what he's dealing with in his life just to be alive now. I get feedback. Oh, you shouldn't. You're disrespecting him and you're disrespecting your family by even mentioning your brother in your damn videos. And I'm like, my God, dude, like nobody wants you to be personal. I mean, you guys for the most of you enjoy it and appreciate it and love it and respect it. But again, it's always those bad actors and I'm not talking about me, but um, bump. it's always those bad actors, you know, that their comments just, uh, uh, and the people say, don't let them know. Don't let them know. Don't let them know that you heard it. You saw it. Don't mention it. I get it. It's hard. It's hard not to. But those comments and stuff, because I'm an insecure person, I try to love everybody. Oh, oh, oh. But I did this podcast and he kind of asked about like onset stories and the common question from people are, how are these actors to work with? Do you have any stories? Are, are they good actor? I mean, are they fun to work with? Do you have any problems with them? You know, they they shoot out the tea because they're hoping to get a little bit of tea back, you know, for the clickbait, for the algorithms, you know, when you talk or critique somebody else or this or that. And I knew, I knew what he was doing. 
And he did warn me, you know, he said, if you don't want to talk about any, anything I ask you, you don't have to. But I was like, you know what? Fine, let's do it. And, um, but I gave a precursor. I said, I love everybody. You know, every experience is different. But then I explained, you know, situations that occurred with other people and whether I, I would work with them again. But then I started to reveal how people see me and how they would call me hard to work with in the industry because I fight for my right to party. No, I fight for everything. I have issues. I speak up when I can, and I know my worth. I'm not worth that much, but in those moments where they need me, I know my worth. But basically, I revealed a lot, and my anxiety and everything just was like, oh, my God, this is going to come back to haunt you, or people are going to hear it. Maybe even the, the people I talked about in it, they're going to hear it, and... They're going to be like, oh, man, that sucks. Oh, I didn't think Michael thought that way or, or Michael's an a-hole now or I don't know. But it scares me, you know, but all I did was reveal my truth um, and my experiences with these situations. Again, if that situation happened, it might not have been as pronounced on their end because they didn't realize how I felt about it or what I was dealing with. But. So their experiences or stories might be a little bit different than mine because they don't know how I deal with it or how I felt in my emotions or my pain or some other stuff that happened from that experience. But I revealed a, a lot, guys, and it scares the death out of me to think about it. But I can't care anymore. I can't worry. I can't. I can't. I can't worry that, you know, some podcasters are going to watch these clips and make fun of me or, or, or try to say that I'm a this, I'm a liar, I'm a that, or my stories are not true or whatever. Like, I can't worry about that stuff. I just, but I do. But it was just interesting, guys, you know, that I just think about too much and I wish I didn't. Um, but I am who I am, and I'm 49 years of age now. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to Michael, you crazy little fucker. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, but at my age, who knows how much time I have left. So at every given moment, I need to tell people my experiences, my thoughts, my opinions, my truth whether it's the world's truth, whether it's their truth, or it's the truth. I mean, there's always two things. There's your truth, my truth, and then there's the truth. So, that's three things. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Damn, we, I wanted to stop at 17 minutes. Now here I'm at 24 minutes. If you guys stayed this long to the video, right? everything is awesome. Every You don't have to write the whole thing, but right, everything is awesome. But remember that song, everything is awesome, being cool, being part of a team from the Lego movies. I loved it. Right? Everything is awesome. And then the next time I do a contest for some merchandise or some swag, whatever, from my store, guys, go check it out. Um, I'll enter you in that contest. Uh, so right? Everything is awesome if you stayed this long. I appreciate you guys. Uh, God bless, whether you're religious or not. But stay healthy, stay happy, stay strong, and stay calm, cool, collective. And everything is awesome. Hit that like, that thumbs up button. Consider becoming a member of this channel for more exclusive content, early content, and hopefully some more future things in the future. Future things in the future. Some more future things in the future that I can put together with my limited capabilities. But more importantly, thank you guys. Thank you.